the national anthem. Remain standing. May I invite the Vika St. Martin's Anglican Church, Ogu, Venerable I.T. Davids, to take the opening prayer. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, for making it possible for the governor of River State and his entourage to have gathered here for the official flag off of Oguwakama Road. We thank you for using him massively in the infrastructural development of the state. And this time it has come to Gubolo local government. We are indeed very grateful unto you, O Lord, for using him. We also pray for him and all other governors in Nigeria, that he will bless our dear country, Nigeria, that peace might return to her. We pray, King of glory, for the occasion, that you may guide and lead us in all that we shall do here. To the glory and honor of your name, especially for the contractor, and all those that will be working with him, that there shall be no accident, there shall be no casualty, but the Holy Spirit indeed will be their guide from the time of construction of the road till the finishing point, the completion of the project. And so Lord, we pray for a clement weather and all that shall be done here. Let it be to your own glory and honor and for the blessing of your people here in Okubolo local government. In the name of God the Father, God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. Can I hear a better amen? amen. Governor, you're welcome. God bless you, sir. Your Excellency, Yesomezewawike, C O N G S S R S, Power of Sports Africa, Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Palibo Hari Banigo, D S S R S. Deputy Governor of River State. Our guest of honor, Your Excellency Senator Dr. Sam Omi Egu, C O N, former Governor of a Boeing State, former Minister of Education, and a Senator, Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Right Honorable Kui Owajibani, D S S R S, Speaker of River State House of Assembly. Your Excellency Sar Celestino Omehia, G S S R S. Former Governor of River State. Your Excellency Engineer Tele Kuru DSSRS, former Deputy Governor of River State. Ambassador Desmond Akawo, Chairman People's Democratic Party River State. Distinguished Senator Judge Thompson Sekibor, CON DSSRS, Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Distinguished Senators, members of the National and State Assembly here present. The Right Honorable Austin Opara, OFR, DSSRS, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives. Former, the Right Honorable Prince Chibudom Uche, DSSRS, former Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives. Members of the State Executive Council, Your Majesty King Dr. Danderson Douglas Jaja, JP, JK V, Amayanabo of Opobo. Chairman, River State Council of Traditional Rulers, and other traditional rulers here present. Chief Ferdinand Alabrabra, Chairman, Elders Council of the People's Democratic Party, River State, and other elder statesmen here present. Special advisors, permanent secretaries, 
Chairman Ogubolo Local Government Area, Chairman LMA Local Government Area, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flag off of Ogu, Eporo, Pogo, Wakama Link Road, here in Ogubolo Local Government Area, to be constructed by the government of River State. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I invite to take the welcome remarks the Chairman of Gubulo Local Government Area, Honorable Nemieboka Vincent. His Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Chief Barrister Yeson Ezebu Wanwike, the Deputy Governor, Dr. Ipalbo Baningo, Special Guest of Honor, Dr. Sam Egu, former Governor of Ebony State, and a current Senator, the State Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, Ambassador Desmond Akawa, <coughs> The Speaker of River State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Ikuye Ebani, Your Excellency, please permit me to stand on the existing protocols. <coughs> Your Excellency, on behalf of the Chairman of LMA Local Government and Thai Local Government, I wish to welcome you on behalf of the peoples of these three local governments, including Ogubolo. We are all aware that you are here for the flag off of the Oguwakama Link Road. Your Excellency, this road is of strategic importance to the peoples of these three local government areas. That is Ogubolo, Eleme, and Tai. The road is specifically passing through Ogu, Ekporo, Bogo, and Wakama. We believe that this road is a road that will enhance social relations among communities in these three local government areas and advance economic development. Your Excellency, please permit me to particularly use this occasion to thank you for what you have done for Ogubolo local government. Beyond the road, you gave the Ogu community two befitting schools, and all of us can see the schools. One is GSS Ogu, and the one behind us, the girls' secondary school. Your Excellency, people like me, Senator John Sekbo, Evans BP, the venerable that job preached, all of us attended this school. So most of us are sentimental, sentimentally attached to the work you have done here. We are grateful. Your Excellency, you also completed a dredging project along Ogu Creek. You donated a housing project to Gubolo local government that we are using to house all federal civil servants in this LG. Your Excellency, we are grateful to you. Your yes, Excellency, you also gave a whole lot of us appointments. Myself, I, I was liaison officer for six years in Abuja. My brother, Boma Yaye, Chief Amaso, that you gave appointment For the Bolo people, Your Excellency, the Bolo people are very grateful. You constructed internal roads beyond modern uh, internal roads that, that is more than five kilometers. That road is fueling expansion in Bolo community. For the people of Wakama, this road is a road that they've been yearning for, a road that will directly connect Ogu community and Wakama. Your Excellency, for the elect people, the fact that I'm chairman here is a, a testimony to the fact that without your support, we will, I will not be standing here as chairman. For 25 years, no elect person has been chairman of this local government. I am personally grateful. The alert community is grateful. May God bless you. Yes, let's use this opportunity to assure you that this LGA is a particularly very peaceful LGA. We will continue to maintain and grow that peace. And I will assure you that the Ogubolo people will continue to support you beyond 2023. Thank you and God bless you. Welcome, Your Excellency. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with a sonorous voice, may I invite Mr. Luscious Mbata.
das neit ein leeres Lieb in dir käme drin zu fern. Heißt du die Not mir wie was steht beside the temple there? I hear the children singing as ever as they sang. Me thought the voice of angels from heaven answer. Gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for Mr. Lasha Simbata? Thank you very much. May I now, with the leave of His Excellency, respectfully invite for the presentation of Kola, the Chairman of Oku Council of Chiefs, Chief Lawrence C. Williams, Tumonimo, Tumonibo Iyama. Thank <laughs> you. 
G-F-F-R-O-S The Executive Government of River State Her Excellency Dr. Mrs. Epanibo Hari Panigo Deputy Governor of River State The SSG River State Government the Speaker, River State House of Assembly, Distinguished uh, Senator Dr. Thompson, Sakibon, all other protocols duly observed. On behalf of the Oku Kingdom, the Amayanabo and the people of Oku Kingdom, have been mandated in the absence of a king who traveled to receive you to the kingdom and to present to you as a tradition this symbolic gift. It is symbolic because we believe that when you, you come to this land, you must have crossed salt water and that there may be salt water dust and we use the drink to cleanse the top, the sum of that dust. It has been our tradition. And the little kids here, we want to present to you as fishermen, river people. River people and fishermen, particular. We don't, this is our cola. So we present to you this cola, this gift, as a symbol of our identity and to tell you welcome Igbo sir Igbo alive you're welcome sir this is the Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to thrill us with some traditional display, may I invite the Seleso Cultural Group of Ogu.
together for them. May I now invite the Priangala Masquerade.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, please can we put our hands together for Priangala Masquerade. May I now invite the Dede Dede Cultural Group of Eleme. for the Dede -de -de Cultural Group of Illimay. May I now invite for the project description the Special Advisor to the Governor on Special Project, George Kelly D. Alabor. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, the Right Honorable Speaker River State House of Assembly, Your Excellency, I pray your leave to dwell on protocols already properly established by the Compare. Your Excellency, we are here again 
in the Ogubulu local government area for the second time in about six months. This time for the flag off of this landmark project. About five months ago, we were at Bolo to commission the internal roads. This time, this is more like a virgin road, not like the Bolo internal road project. Where I'm standing now is change 0 plus 350. The total length of the road is 5.33 kilometers. The total length of drain is 5.81 kilometers. From change 00 to change 1 plus 350 is inside Ogu community here. And we'll have two side drains by them. From change 1 plus 360 to change 4 plus 850 is virgin forest and therefore we're going to have a thickness, um, a filling of about 750 millimeter above the ground level after removal of unsuitable materials and then we're going to have an embankment and protect the slopes on the embankment with rip wrapping or otherwise known as stone pitching. And so the total length of road that I said before will be 5.33 kilometers and the total length of drain will be 5.8 kilometers. Beneath the asphaltic surface, we'll be having 100 millimeters of uh, asphaltic uh, concrete, 60 uh, millimeter binder cores and 40 millimeter wearing cores. Immediately beneath that, we're going to have 150 millimeter thickness of stone base and under that we'll have soil cement stabilization and approximately 750 millimeter of fuel. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may I now invite to give a remark on behalf of the contractor, Commerce Services Nigeria Limited, the project manager, engineer Dango Jaffet. <laughs> His Excellency, Chief Barrister, Yosem Ezemwawiki, CON, GSSRS, Post Africa, the Executive Governor of River State, Her Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Palabo Banigo, DSSRS, the Deputy Governor of River State, the Honorable Speaker, River State House of Assembly. Sir, permit me to stand on existing protocol. The, it, the entire board, management and staff of Government Services like Grand Limited are most grateful to the Almighty God and Your Excellency for the opportunity to execute these all very important projects that transverse and link three local, three local governments of Okubolo, Eleme and Tai. For us, it is a repose of confidence and trust Your Excellency has in us and a further testimony of how your administration is carrying along the indigenous contractors in River State. To this effect, Your Excellency, sir, we guarantee that this project will be executed according to the approved specifications. The site was handed over to us on the 25th of February, 2021, and we commenced work on the 11th of March, 2021. As of today, we have been able to achieve the following. Total mobilization of men and equipment, 100% of site clearance, 90% of drainage works completed, approximately 40% of earthwork done, 30% of stone-based work have also been done. All required covers and entrance slabs have been completed. Re rehabilitation of failed portions of Etowe and Ogu Road done. We hence affirm strongly that we shall deliver on or before the project approved time frame of 12 months without compromising standards. On this note, we wish to thank the host communities and all stakeholders for their cooperation. We likewise solicit that the collaboration will continue to enable the completion of this project peacefully and in record time. Meanwhile, it is on record that we have more than 35 youths of the host communities on our employment list. Also, 100% of the local sourced sharp sand material is equally done by the people from the host communities. This is in line with Your Excellency's Department vision. Your Excellency, sir, 
May we use this opportunity to further pledge our continued loyalty and support your administration. Once again, we thank you and the entire Rivers people for this opportunity. May the Almighty God continue to bless you and your administrations. Thank you, sir. Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, to give a goodwill message, may I respectfully invite a Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, distinguished Senator Judge Thompson Sekibor, C-O-N-D-S-S-R-S. -S -S. Your Excellency and our leader, Chief Barrister Nyansom Ezebonwan Wiki, CON, GSSROS, POS Power of Africa, the Executive Governor of River State. Your Excellency, Dr. Mrs. Palobare Banigo, the Deputy Governor of River State. Our special guest of honor and my colleague in the Senate, distinguished Senator Sam Egu. You are welcome, sir. The former Deputy Governor, the Chairman of our party, the former Governor of River State, your Royal Highnesses, please allow me to take on, on the existing protocol. Your Excellency, I will just briefly talk on two chapters. The first one is on behalf of the PDP people of Ogubulu local government area, the chiefs and all the people of the local government area, to again join the chairman of the council to welcome you to our local government area and immensely thank you for all the efforts. That is a word we know. Impossible. Impossibility. It can't work. It will not be possible. We cannot do it. Today, as the people of this local government area, we have seen that we have docile those words. We have put them to shame. I say so, sir, for this road, over 30 years ago, there was the thinking that we can link from here to our brothers in Wakama. I can remember particularly in 1977, when we are trying to form new political parties and all that, the Wakama people will move in the night down to this place. And I then we used to hear their alliance in the, in the forest and so on and so forth. It is not possible that this road can be done. It is not possible. But today, we have dwarfed it. We have taken a bold step and we have given us this road. Until a man, a man gets something from an impossible situation, he will not know that there are impossible things that can be turned to be possible. We thank you. We thank you. Sir, the second chapter is on the special guest of honor. Your Excellency, my colleague, I want to welcome you to my community and the kingdom. In, 19, in 2015, when we were campaigning for the emergence of Governor Jensen Wiki, I saw a dream. It is true. And I brought the song, Wiki Revolution. Wiki Revolution. I will sing it again. I know why I'm singing it. So that we hear the warnings. Wiki Revolution. We can revolution the only way to make river state is we can revolution. And I told them, I saw a dream. It will emerge at the government of river state. And then the impossible things that we've been hearing before will become possible. It was a point when there was no money for school, for, for salaries of workers. It was a point when pensioners were not paid. It was a point when the courts were locked up. It was a point 
when the assembly was not in existence. And then he came in. And they said, let's see how you can pay the salary. But even payment of salary is not an impossible thing. For us, that's not impossible. But that's not a thing to talk about. So that is one is very, very impossible. Very, very impossible to build about 10 flyovers in less than two years. That is an impossible task. It is impossible to move to Opobo, to move to all the communities in that area. That was an impossible feat. If it were possible, River State had been in existence from 1967. That could have been done. But because men thought it was impossible, they couldn't achieve them. Our guest of honor. Today, there is no part of this state that we say they have not seen something. trans Road has been on the drawing board for a very long time. Today, it has been flagged off. And because whatever is flagged off, it goes back to commission. I am sure it will go and commission it. Virtually all the roads in, in Potaco were dilapidated. He came in on the face of the inauguration. He put a task force and started repairing the road. We thought I am authority on GA. That is, he just a person that is coming in first. After a while, he will be tired. But today, our guest of honor, virtually all the roads in Palakot are completed and done well. I don't know where you to touch. In education, this school was brought down. Was brought down. This is your school. Okay? I no go to Federal Government College. This was then a real village college. That was, this, was, this was where I schooled. There was no electricity. We used to put a lantern, put our legs in water, take towel, tower, and next time we will not sleep, and then we we'll read. This is where I came, and I, I struggled to come to the Senate. It was brought down to Grand, Grand Zero. And then during his campaign in 2014, he came here. He said, since they refused to build it, I will, I, will, I will come and build it for you. They came and lay, they came with their 10 blocks they want to build. They left it. It's okay. Now that they have left it again, I'll give you a new school. That was why he gave all this school behind, behind us. It wasn't a governor then. Had a promise. The moment I become a governor, George, don't be worried. Your school will be built. It's completed a brand new school. And I'm sure very soon, maybe when we will commission this road, we will also, side by side, commission the school. In health, our guest of honor, that wicked revolution has worked. That vision has worked. So when I sing the song, the governor shouldn't be, shouldn't be laughing at me. You should see that I'm seeing a vision. A vision far beyond what many people are seeing. And I know, and I know, in the next couple of years, it will do more. You know what I'm saying, so? People think that second time is a twin drum for governors to sleep and relax and recoup. But you will recall, every day, for the past 40, 50 days, he is commissioning either one project or two, or flagging on one project or two. And it's been like that. That is just for this year. And that's how it has been for all the other six years. Your Excellency, you have done well. My vision has come to, come to pass. So today, I want to thank God that he gave me a vision I saw, and I thank about it, and I demonstrated and I confessed. Today, we receive it. I want to thank you, especially on behalf of the River East Central District, where you have virtually touched every village. And I know it's not only our Central District. It's also so to other Central District. Our guests of honor, when we go back to Abuja, tell them, they were asking us, where did they use the 13% uh, derivatives? Tell them you have seen it here. In two years, we have more than 10 bridges. Abuja can we do that one. The Federal Capital Authority can do that one in two years. And there is no year the governor does not commission 30, 40, 50 projects. It's a usual thing. There is no great mind in this state, including those in the opposition, that has not invited to come and commission one project or the other. It was in course of that one, the vice president called him Mr. Project. We didn't ask him to give him that honor. Just recently, a uh, former senior president came here. He said, it can't be doctor forever now. It should be, it can't be minister forever. We should change it and call him Dr. Project. Your Excellency, all this start will befit you. May God bless the womb where you come from. God bless you in Jesus' name. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, at this point, may I respectfully invite to give a speech the Governor of River State, His Excellency, 
Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State, Your Excellency, the former Governor of Ebo State, the single Senator of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Senator Sam Ebo. Your Excellency, the former governor of the state, Sir Celeste Ngozi Chim, the mayor. Your Excellency, the Speaker of the State House of Assembly, Your Excellency, the former Deputy Governor of Adia State, the former Deputy Speaker's House of Representatives, that are here, Rat Tribal Chubudamuche and Rat Tribal Loss in Napala. The former distinguished senators that are here, former ministers that are here, the chairman, River State Traditional Rulers Council, who has always from the one joined us in participating in the commissioning and flagging of our projects in the state, and members of their council, the chairman of our great party, members of the State Executive Council, former chairman of our party. Chairman of Ogubolo local government, LMA local government, and the local government, area, particularly the House of Assembly member representing Ogubolo state constituency and other members of the state assemblies that are here, leaders of our party, leaders of the state, chairman of PDP Elders Council, Chief Ferdinand Labraba, who also is there. My dear good people of Ogubolo, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen, let me thank God Almighty for today giving us a clement weather that Ogubolo is the day, is the final day for commissioning and flagging off of projects in our dear state. Let me thank the special guest of honor who accepted to be here today, he came in since last night, to be part of this historic making occasion in Flagdorf, Ogu, Wakama, Boho, all of them. All of them. <laughs> if I didn't call your name, we'll take it so. <laughs> so, Boho, Boro, Boro, whatever, Ogu, Wakama. You know, that make up three local governments, but particularly in the Ogu Bolo local government. He's one of those respected former governors and a distinguished Senate member who we have a lot of respect because of the way when he was governor of the Boy State, and as a distinguished senator, the way he has carried himself, who felt he should come to be the last person, but not the least, that will flag off our project which we call the grand finale of flagging of our commissioning. On Monday, we will give an account of our stewardship to our state for all we have done in the past six years. It's very, very important. So I want to sincerely thank you and those you came with. May God bless you more. May God continue to grant you more life for the people of this country. As well as of honor, let me say clearly, I didn't want to be emotional, but sometimes you go to areas and you reflect back, you reflect back where you started from, how it was, and where you are in today. When in 2014, we started this struggle on how we should be able to contribute to the state, our own efforts. That time, Senator Joe Sekibor 
was also interested in running for governorship. The single says just a cable. Is a is a I don't know what to call it. It's a traditional ruler. It's a senator. He was a former chairman. He sees the lot of uh, vision. I don't know the one he has seen again. You know. I don't know the one. I hope you have not seen vision for yourself. Oh. <laughs> you know. So, but that time, let me please uh, 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 give me the opportunity. Where is Vincent? Let me go get Chairman. Can come. Ivan BP, come. Bomba uh, Yaye, come. Arnold, where's Arnold? I think it was former chairman. Come. Come. Uh, my dear brothers, let me say the, the truth. That and George Sajibo was to run for governorship. And you know, as a senator that time, who wanted to be governor? And from this local government, naturally, naturally, Everybody, Spanish chairman, his followers should be able. He is their leader. He is their leader. And volunteer to run for governorship that time. But it surprised him that all his boys, all his boys said no. These guys came and put their heads and said, look, sir, we will follow you. I think that forced George Sakibo to withdraw. That is the truth of the matter. It is the truth of the matter. They would, he withdrew that time. Because all his boys have all left him. And why I'm trying to say this, they are not the correct people. They are not. But you see, in life, there are people who will come out sincerely to say, look, we think this is what is supposed to happen for us to move our state uh, forward. I want to thank them. I know what it was then to support me to be governor. It was very, very difficult. Very, very, very difficult. And knowing that coming from my background, how it was, but well, this young man stood firm, luckily convinced Joe Sakibo, and Joe Sakibo joined us. Joe Sakibo, I want you also to come and since you joined us after the after they forced you to to withdraw. So I have to say this because I'm leaving office, but it's good for me to say this today that this young man stood firm. They recruited all other persons in the local government below where you have uh, uh, Amasoma, is it Amasoma? Chief Amaso, uh, Vita Labo, uh, for the big guy, that man, he talks on radio every time. A tabula like the man talks too much on radio. Hi. All of them, Gilbert, all of them, they recruited them. So this is one of the local government that was very, very strong for me and of importance. During the last 2019 election, it was historic. It was like a bad woman riot. It was here. Now the women revolution started as against the military that wanted to rig us out in that election. It was here. Each time I remember, I said, God, thank you for using this woman. But it was possible because people mobilized them. Our mothers, our wives, our dear friends. Those of them were the five, were six, were the eight, were the nine, were ten, all of them mobilized. Women came out naked. I have never seen that in my life. Women came out, opened their breasts, and told the military, Look at our breasts. You will not touch it. You can't reach the rest. Under the rain, they told the military, You cannot during this election. I want to thank our mothers. I want to thank our wives. I want to thank our girlfriends. I want to thank our sisters. I want to thank all of you. You know, that's why people should know there are things that men can do. There are things that men cannot do. 
women came out and made sure that election was not rigged. Also in Okrika, it happened. But I want to use Ogubolo as a case in point to say, God Almighty will bless you. But for you, we didn't know what would have happened. God used you here to stop the enemies of democracy, the enemies of development, the former GOC, General Sahar, wherever he is, God Almighty stopped him, using our women not to truncate the mandate of the people. I want to thank you. Some of you were beaten. Some of you may have lost your lives. Whoever, all their fights will never be in vain. And that is why today I say, for that you did, I will do anything for the people of Ogubolu. Because he stood out. He stood out. First of all, I have asked the leaders through John Sakibo what is important in life is to bring their people together. When the people are together, you benefit a lot. When the people are divided, you lose so many things. I've asked him to show leadership, to bring everybody together. The chairman of council was my classmate in the university, in the University of Portugal. And you know, it's difficult for me to abandon people who started, who labored, whom we knew how we grew. And that's why when he was to run for council chairman, I said, look, I'm leaving. What will I show tomorrow? Somebody who was my classmate, somebody who supported me, and then this is what he wants. And I cannot do that for him. I pleaded with everybody here. And one of them, he came from the list of all the communities in uh, Ukubolo. So I pleaded, I said, look, allow them to produce the council chairman. And they did, all of them supported. So I want to thank them. And, and, and he has done well being the last officer in Abuja. I know I had any one day to regret about him being the last in, uh, officer. So, Okubolo people, let me tell you, I will ask them here to go and look for where we will sign 25 hectares of land for you people. Because, because he showed me love. He showed me support. So you deserve it. You deserve anything I can do for you. Also, a togu, I will have to reconstruct that road so that you can drive safely to Ogu. That I will do for you. And let me tell you, in politics, we will all work together. In politics, support those you know that have the good intention. I've called the contractor and I've asked him, when will this road be finished? He said, let us December. I said, okay. Tell the Minister of uh, Special uh, Projects to bring their paper for another payment because I don't want to hear excuses. I want this road. I want to be here. Boxing Day. One of us are boxing. We're doing our own boxing by commissioning this uh, road. It is very, very important. So, our uh, dear mothers and sisters, I want to give you another village, another community, 25 hectares of uh, land, so that you can have another village, so that you can build your own houses. But note that, note that don't allow people to come and tell you stories. You have seen a government that has come to you, you have seen a party that has come to you to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. A party came here, demolished John and John Sakibos, and John Sakibos said, demolished government's country school, Ogu. Demolished it. I said they are going to rebuild. Did they rebuild it? No. Did they rebuild it? No. Have we rebuilt it now? Yeah. Have we rebuilt it now? Yeah. And look at this one here. When I was minister, I said they should build girls school here. Look at this. Now we are going to combine it as this school. Girls will live here. Boss will live there, but will attend the same uh, school. And I have told them, as I came, I called them, they must give us some boys, the phone companies, to make sure the cleaning of these schools will be them. 
every month government will pay them as part of empowerment of our youth in this uh, You know, there are some people from the other local government, they will not be happy, but don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I know where I started from. I know what happened. So, if, if, if I didn't announce anything in the local government, don't worry. Uh, it's the God that tells me where to announce, where not to announce. Since God just said about saw vision, me too, I saw vision. But I, I should come here today. Thank you for coming. See what you are doing. There's nothing that's impossible in this world. Nothing. Because God has given us whatever it takes to conquer nature. That's nothing. If you have the political way, luckily I do have the political way. I do. And if I say I will do something, I would uh, do it. When Joe says, oh, they never knew the people from Wakama can come to Ogu. God has given us everything. To conquer nature, to make use of our environment. It's only when we don't want to give excuses. When you are talking about water, somebody said, not somebody said, the former governor of the state, my predecessor, said in May 29 to May 27, 2015, at Obiwali Cultural Center, when he was having his birthday, he said, Let him see where we can. We have money to pay salary, not to talk about uh, project. But to the glory of God, we are not talking about money to pay salary. We are at that stage. We are not talking about money to do project. We are doing uncommon projects that they couldn't do when they had money. But see, when God is with you, you have no fear. We never knew that you will honor me this way. We never knew that you will honor us this way. We never knew that you will honor us this way. You honor us this way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my brother. Yes, because we never knew. Knowing fully well, a man who had living government said, we don't have money. He cannot pay salary. No, to talk about doing project. Now you can see what you are doing. Then you must know. God, 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 God is, is God is something else. We must continue to thank him. Because God has honored us. If God would remove all the obstacles, all the hindrances they have set for us, for us to today, for six weeks now, we have been commissioning, flagging up. They are no longer talking about where is this money coming from? They can't know. They can never, never know. But I can tell you, I'm proud. I'm not indebted to any bank. I'm not. The Vastel government is not. Any money that the Vastel government is going must be money borrowed by the former military administration. When I came on board, the former administration was indebted. I paid all the money they, were, they borrowed from the bank. I paid all. The money that the former administration was owing, I paid all. Zero bank. I'm quoting the bank as a Zenith uh, bank. The money they were owing, the salary, for five months of workers, I paid all. The money they were owing pensioners, for five months, I paid all. And as I speak today, I'm not owing any salary to anybody. It is God. We must continue to honor him. Remember from 2015, the, the government at the center never allowed us to relax and work. We were having rerun upon rerun upon rerun. They were fighting our state. We didn't know what, but God said, continue and behind you people. Nothing will happen. And nothing happened. From 2015, we have been having all kinds of fights. Not the final of this election, not the final of this election, go for the run, go for the run. To the glory of God, we have survived it. So we must continue to give God the glory. We must continue to honor him. If you don't believe in God, use our experience. Use what has happened to River State to believe in, uh, in God. 
That's not it they have not done to us in this state. But we we'll continue to survive. When they come by right, God takes us to the left. They come to the left, God takes us to the right. So we have survived it. And so nobody can tell me to kito to anybody. For what? This government is ending the one the day my own government is ending. Them. We are leaving 29th of May, 20th. Me are leaving 29th of May, 2023. So nothing anybody should tell me when two of us were living uh, together. No one person is staying. He's going, I'm uh, going. So what is anybody frightening me for intimidating me? A whole river son that God had protected. Ta! Not me. Not me. So I want all the vast people to be firm and carry your shoulders high. We are not second class citizens in this country. We are not. If anybody can make noise in this country, the vast people should make the noise. We should. So nobody should come and tell us to play a second class uh, field. No, we are not. We, are, should be, we should be the royal people. And when we are going to, I must walk like a royal person. No governor should be bigger than reverse governor. Yes. 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 I say yes. He hate you. It doesn't matter. Man must hate you, but God does not hate you. Every man can come together against you, but since you have God, you have no fear. All those plotting against the state will fail. All those plotting against the state will do what? Fail. All those evil souls plotting against the state will fail. Whether you are in PDP, whether you are anywhere they call yourself, and you are one of those plotting against the state, the time has come. You will say, But the bone face so now who does the bone face for? We got this body, yes, and we can carry go. I will never be in a place for whatever interest to sell my state. I will never. If not, approaches have been made to me, people have come to me. I said, fa, 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 fa. I will never. Wherever my state is, is where I will be. Because whatever happens in this world, whether I stay in Lagos, whether I stay in Abuja, whether I stay in Kasena, I stay in Zogoto, I stay in Adamawa, I must come back uh, home. Home now. Home. Remember your home. home now, home. Remember your home. Anywhere you are, whatever you are doing, home now, home. Yeah, you are. Whatever you are doing, home now, home. Remember your home. Anywhere you are. Whatever you are doing, home now, home. So let me invite the soldier guys of honor to please do the last people the favor to come today and talk to our people and flag off the construction of Obuwakama Boho Eboro joined together for the glory of God. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of River State, Chief Barrison, yes, sir, is a war weekend. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor of River State, Excellency, the Speaker, Your Excellency, the former Governor Celestine Obeha. 
Your Excellency, the former Deputy Speakers of the House of Representatives, the former Ministers, the former Senators, of course, my colleague Senator, who is here, who we are in his village today, I thank you very much. Members of the Governor's entourage and my own entourage, traditional rulers, their royal highnesses, council chairman, all members of the Executive Council of River State, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I want to thank the Governor for inviting me to come and pe to perform this ceremony. I feel highly honored, Your Excellency, for inviting me. We have been watching on television the various commissioning and flagging of ceremonies that have been taking place in this state for almost two months now, almost on a daily basis. And without missing words, one will agree that the governor is one of, if not the best performing governor in Nigeria today. This is because River State does not have the highest allocation of the federal fund, nor does it have the highest in terms of IGR. But yet, I don't think any governor has performed the feat he has done. Every day we are commissioning projects, and these projects are not mean projects. Ten flyovers done by Julius Bega, and all the roads, all the schools, the various uh, housing projects. In fact, I would say that when others call him Mr. Project or Dr. Project, I will call him Professor Project. <laughs> Your Excellency, I also want to believe that you told us about the various, and we all witnessed it to the various wars you have passed through in this state. The Bible made us to believe that they will surely gather. But because they are not from him, they will not succeed. I think they have not succeeded because God is with you. I think any man who comes with a clean heart to serve his people, God will always honor that person. It is not by our own might. It is not because they have all the powers. After all, they came with their armors, their various arsenals. But because God is with you, you have succeeded. And I believe you will succeed to the end of your tenure in Jesus' name. Today, we are commissioning or we are flagging off this very important uh, route, the Oguwakama Link Road. And I was made to believe that he's passing through a, a thick forest. And listening to the SSA on project, one will say that this is a major, major project, virgin project. And I thank the governor for giving life to these people who have been under this serious deprivation of road network. Politics is not all about power. It's all about giving sense of belonging to people that you serve. Politics is all about carrying people along. Politics is all about leaving a footprint for posterity so that while you have gone, many years you have gone, people will always remember what you have done. This is exactly what the governor is doing and something that will live after him. As we are coming here, I saw a lot of projects and what we were talking about the schools. I remember that uh, immediately I uh, left the position as a minister. He came in to replace me as a minister. 
And uh, being a former minister, I was also in touch with the Federal Minister of Education. And I can tell you that from the day he assumed that office, I was in touch with people and they told me that, look, he's an action man. So I'm not surprised, Your Excellency, that what you started doing in the ministry, you have also continued as a governor. I know that by divine providence, that from minister to governor, that after governor, you are still going higher. I do not know the position, but I know that God has something for you. Because we need people like you to solve, to salvage this country. In the discussion in the vehicle, I heard, overheard you quarreling with one council chairman about what he did. And that gave me a lot of happiness. You told him, I overheard you, the screening for whatever appointment, I don't understand the details, but you made him to understand that he needed to consult the stakeholders, the leaders of that area, for that position to be amicably shared. That is, again, leadership. When you are given position of authority, you don't appropriate it to yourself. You should actually make sure that people around you are carried along. So that whatever position, whatever you are going to do, people will be with you. I think, Your Excellency, what you are trying to demonstrate is to tell the people that leadership is all about carrying people along. Let them be part of what you are doing. Not personal interest, not personal position. I think I should let people know that as for, if for us to move forward as a country, we should change this style of leadership where an individual comes and takes position without considering others. For that position you want to take, make sure that others are part of it. Let there be consensus so that that way our society will move forward without further expenditure of words. Mr. President, uh, Your Excellency, I once again want to thank you for this opportunity and pray that this project that we are going to flag off today we bring a lot of economic and social benefits to all the communities that it will pass through and all the people that will use this road. These are my prayers in Jesus' name.
Thank you.